Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. I'm Dave Leno exclusively for IUHoosiers.com. Coach and I are coming to you from the newly constructed Academic Center housed beneath Memorial Stadium. And Coach, you place a big emphasis on the student part and student athletes, don't you? Yeah, I mean, this place is amazing. We're sitting in one of the tutor rooms right now, and there's several of these. There's quiet study rooms and you know, we meet with our freshmen and at-risk student athletes every week, and we touch base with all of our kids on a regular basis, as well as Kelly Noonan, who you'll get to know a little bit later, um, who's our academic advisor, and they meet with her once a week and go over things. I mean, that's why they're here, is to get a great education, and so we place a lot of emphasis on that on a daily basis. Let's go to some on-the-court action. Let's rewind to this past weekend, your last non-conference tournament up there in Oxford, Ohio, and you started off against DePaul. Probably didn't play to your potential, but really rallied back against Miami. Yeah, we didn't start off very good. And, and you know, that last weekend before the Big Ten Conference, you really want to play your best preseason volleyball. So we were a little disappointed. I think the good thing is, though, is when we walked in the locker room, it almost felt like a loss. And I guess the thing that was positive about that is our players knew they didn't play well. They weren't happy that they didn't play well. And they made some goals to make the, the changes, you know, a few hours later when we played Miami of Ohio, who was a, a very good team that evening. Ashley Benson and Jordan Haverly getting on the all-tournament team last weekend and also the MVP was your right side hitter, Kelsey Marshall, mm -hmm. who deserves a lot of respect as well. Yeah, I was really proud of her. Um, she's made great strides. She's, she's a great competitor. She, she has great work ethic. And she really wants to be great here in Indiana. And um, I've really seen her improve, especially in the off season. I think that's where a lot of the work is done. In the off season, she made some huge goals for herself and really committed to getting better. And I think we really saw some of that improvement gradually throughout the preseason, but then really come into effect um, that, that day, last Saturday, and, and she earned those MVP honors. Aside from Kelsey Marshall, who was doing wonders out there for you on the attack front, your setters, uh, Whitney Granado and Mary Shadoin, performed very well, too. Yeah, it was very nice, number one, to have Whitney back in action, and number two, to have both of them set a little bit with different lineups that day. And I thought they both did some very good things for us, and it's going to be nice during the Big Ten season to be able to throw different elements at different teams um, with Mary with her offense and her blocking and, and able to do some great things and her energy on the court. And then Whitney just runs a very controlled tempo offense and plays great defense. And so it, you know, I'm very comfortable having both of them, and I think both of them will play throughout the entire season. After this break, we'll chat with Kelly Newton, who will tell us a little bit more about this newly constructed academic center after this. Indiana University Athletics is encouraging Hoosier fans to paint the U Gym red and wear red clothing to show their support for IU. The Hoosiers take on bitter arch rival Purdue 7 p.m. this Wednesday. The game will broadcast live on the Big Ten Network and also stream on IUHoosiers.com. Welcome back to Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. I'm Dave Leno, now joined by Assistant Athletics Director for Academics, Kelly Newton. Kelly, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So when did you finally move into this great facility up down here uh, near a Memorial Stadium? We moved in at the end of July, and we are operational at this point in time and still getting a few things settled in, but we're really excited to have all of the student athletes here just last night, we had over 200 student athletes in the academic center of the 600. Um, so we're really excited that we can provide this resource to them. This area used to be the old football coaches' offices. They have since moved over to the new north end zone. You mentioned that there's a lot of uh, student athletes here at night, and you really do put a preface, a big one, on uh, student athletes, don't you, on the student part? Absolutely. Our department not only serves as a student athlete's primary academic advisor, but we help them all the way through their four years here, talking about internships, career planning, community service, personal development. Uh, we're engaged in their whole process, their, their whole process while they're here at IU and helping them get the most out of their experience and prepare for what's next. Now you're a very uh, busy administrator. Not only do you deal with student athletes that come in here on a case-by-case -case basis, but you also talk with a lot of instructors, professors from the university too. Absolutely. We have regular contact with the professors. We send out um, professor reports once a month for all student athletes and we share that information with the coaches and the students on their feedback on how they're doing to make sure that everybody's up to speed and comfortable with how things are going in the classroom. 
Can you tell us what's exactly in this facility? Obviously, we see a lot of computers all around in different tutor rooms, but what else is there? Absolutely. We had quite the upgrade. Our old facility was 3,000 square feet with 24 computers and space for about 20 extra bodies to study. Our new center is over 25,000 square feet. We have 13 group, room, group tutor rooms and classrooms, a quiet reading room, our computer lab seat 62, and we have a collaborative study that features a cafe for the students to get drinks, snacks, and food while they're studying as well. And it's also a neat program to close out. Not only do you have student athletes come in here, but also some students from the university act as tutors too at night. Absolutely. We have over 100 mentors and tutors, and they are hired in on an hourly basis to assist with subject-specific tutoring or to help students with the transition academically, socially, uh, to, to IU. All right, Kelly, thanks for your time, and uh, you do great work as always. So thanks, thanks for, for having me, Professor Leno. All right, on the other side, we'll be back with the Sherry Dunbar Show after this. The Hoosiers look to improve that undefeated mark to 13-0 this Wednesday against Purdue. That is the second best start in program history and the best start since 1997. Welcome back to Inside IU Volleyball with Sherry Dunbar. And a coach, a Paint the U Gym Red is coming up on Wednesday against Purdue. A lot of great things going on. The first year experiences program is partnering with IU Athletics, and they're going to have tailgates outside a couple hours before the game. It's going to be a lot of free food. The first uh, 200 students that are new to campus will get free t shirts. B97 will be out there. It's just going to be a blast, isn't it? Well, I think for students, you know, free food, free t shirts, they will come. Um, but yeah, marketing has done a fantastic job. I want to make sure to say that because uh, we have two marketing people, Jonathan and Haley, who from the very beginning have really worked hard. And I think the Purdue match is kind of a unique match. Not that it's any more important than any other match, but it's a rivalry match. And I think it's for the fans, it's for our kids. Um, and to have an in-state rival like we do as a true rival, I think makes a big difference. And it's a tradition in every sport. So I think it'll be a lot of fun for everybody involved. It's an extremely short week for you as you play Purdue and then go up against Northwestern. So do you see the girls as you're getting ready for the start of Big Ten season kind of looking at you in a different way, starting to pay maybe even more attention, that intensity level certainly rising? Well, you know, I was, I was telling a lot of people that we had our best Monday practice yesterday of the year. And, you know, I could really tell, not that we haven't had good practices, but it was a different practice. And you could tell it was Big Ten season. Like you could see it in their face. Their focus was there. Um, they came to work, you know, and they got a lot done and were very productive in that two hours and 15 minutes yesterday. Purdue's coming in at 9-2. and two. They have mm -hmm. Hart, who's a very good setter turner mm -hmm. on the outside. Mm -hmm. Finally, what are some keys for you to kind of overcome those attacks? I think, you know, I think they have a very good experienced team, and I think uh, Ariel Turner's made some great strides since last year, and she's getting a lot of attempts for them. So we're going to do some different things with our defense against her. Jacqueline Hart, a senior, very experienced, played in the Big Ten, you know, all these years. So, um, you know, the bottom line is, though, we're it's going to be a battle, and it always is a battle with Purdue. So we're going to have to come and expect a long match, expect to continue to fight for every single point, use our home court advantage the best we can, um, and hopefully we're going to come out with a W. But the bottom line is it's one match in the next 20 matches, you know, for the Big Ten season. And so... It will just be fun to finally start the Big Ten season, and hopefully we can start it with a win. Hoosiers will look to improve that record to 13-0. On behalf of Coach Dunbar, Kelly Noonan, and our videographer and editor Kyle Kuhlman, I'm Dave Leno. Best wishes, everyone.